Well guys, it's Kieran. I'll kill it because HD here and welcome back to tracking back with the day face off against Barcelona in the final Champions League group game. We have to win. And the previous episode we beat Ajax 2-2. Quickly have a look at the other results. We won five games on the bounce in Champions League, Capital One Cup, and Premier League games. We beat Liverpool 2 on away from home, Perez and Omri of our goals, and then we won on penalties against Cardiff City. A kind of annoying game because I thought we should have won that quite easily. Then we won 3-0 at home against the big ones. Tottenham Hotspur, that was a Massive game for the club, and we managed to win that. 1 0 away from home against Ajax, which is great. Patrick Vieira getting the one goal there, and then 3 1 away from home against West Bromwich Albion. Omri, Jack Wilshire, Cliff Baston with our goals, Ronnie Allen with the goal for West Brom. Then we lost at home to top of the table, Manchester United. We did get a goal in this game. Ted Drake scored, Eric Cantona, and Andy Carl scoring very late on in both halves of the game. Then we drew two games in the bounce, a draw against Ghent, and a draw against Sunderland. Ted Drake with an early goal, Julia Arco with the goal for Sunderland, which means we are now ninth in the Premier League table. Um, we've actually pushed up a great bit, which is really nice to see. And, um, you know, the top of the table is still quite far away. 34 points for second place Derby, first place Cop Manchester United, 12 wins, 2 draws, 38 points. And if we look at our Champions League group, we are currently first. Doesn't mean a thing though if we lose to Barcelona and Ajax beat Ghent, which is looking very likely today. So today it has to be a win away from home against Barcelona. Uh, I don't. don't I, I, well, it has to be a win or a draw basically. If we draw against Bar Barcelona, that's fine because if we go, we go to 10 points, they go to 9, they stay down and go to Europa League. We have to win to get first in the group though, which would be nice. I'd love to get first in the group, I think that would be great. And then we can get an easier side in the, in the round of 16, I think it is. But enough chit chat, we're going to get right into this game. Already! Barcelona have a phenomenal team. They have Zubi Zaretta on the bench with Ferreira, Nadal, Alcantara, Rivaldo, Sergi and Luis Enrique and they're starting 11 today. Ramalet, Puyol, Coman, Olivella, Segara, Baquero, Schuster, Rijak, Michael Laudrup, Ronaldinho and Kubala. What a team. And we are rocking a new 4-2-3 sweeper. We'll be doing a sweeper for David O'Leary. David Seaman on the bench with Martin Keown, Samson, Jack Wilshop, Robert Perez, Dennis Bergkamp and George Armstrong in the starting 11. Jack Elson in goal. David O'Leary is our sweeper. We have Hapgood, Tony Adams, Frank McClintock and Pat Rice. In the DM we have Patrick Vieira and Liam Brady. Then up front, the front three, Cliff Baston, Freddy Lundberg. And starting off front, Thierry Henry. Ted Drake is injured so he's missing out on this game which is okay. I'm hoping Thierry Henry maybe can get an early goal and seal a point in this game because I think Pat Barcelona are going to come out all guns blazing. This game is underway at the Camp Nou. We are shooting from left to right. Can we manage to get an early goal or even... Imagine if we won this game against Barcelona. It would be unreal. Schuster on the ball now. He has options here. He's got Puyol on his right-hand side. He uses Puyol and then finds Rajak. Rajak puts it back to Schuster. Is he going to find the ball back to Rajak? And Puyol's still there. But he puts it back to Puyol. Schuster. Got a ball to Laudrup in the middle. He has a striker up there. He finds Kabala. 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 And Barcelona are taking the lead very early on. Laszlo Kabala makes his 19th goal of the season for Barcelona. That makes it 1 0. And if I, I need to get the group table up because I'm going to get worried now. So Laudrup plays the ball to Kubala, who's just got the pace to burn. Look at that. He just turns them both. And it's a great goal. Keeper doesn't need to come out, but he does. It's 1 0 Barcelona. And that's one shot and one on target. And we've got not got a single shot yet. So do we go standard to try and go for it? I mean, we have to try, don't we? we if we're, currently, we're second, um, luckily, but that's because Ghent have not conceded yet, and they probably will concede sooner or later. We're going to quickly go and head and tell that Laszlo Kubala is a actual threat. And we have two shots on this game. We've had two shots. Now, Vieira, we'll see, he's probably going to lose the ball, because that's how we do this in this game. Pat Rice finds Vieira, puts it in the middle to Brady. Omri, that's a poor ball, and Omri gets the ball back, but it's tackled. Michael Laudrup, come on, Ghent. Come on, get Rajak. Ball up to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho puts the skills on. Puyol on the right hand side. Puyol, will you put the ball? Hapkid cannot get tackled in. Kabala! Great save. Ronaldinho, great save again. Just get rid, man. Get rid! And I think the keeper has that. He does have that. Oh my word. So it's half time as it stands. We are second, and Ghent are actually holding off uh, Ajax, which is great, but I'm not going to rely on that because that's how the world works. We're going to go look at the match stats because Barcelona have had 18 shots to our two. We're really trying to push back here. Not a good idea. So I'm thinking um, we go counter, but what we're going to do is go have a slightly higher line, and we're going to go much higher tempo and try and push. It's going to be the only way we find a goal in this game, I think. Valdo over front corner, whips it in, Kubala! And that's 2-0 Barcelona. Another early goal in the second half. Laszlo Kubala, sorry, gets his set 20th goal of the season on Barcelona, which makes it Barcelona 2, 
Arsenal nil. We don't need to see the replay. I'm real worried about how, what's going to happen with the Ajax game. As we're 57 minutes in now, 59-60, they've still not conceded a goal. We're going to make a change, actually. We're going to take off Henri and bring on Dennis Bergkamp and then put Bergkamp down as a... Uh, as a um, a deep line forward on support, uh, attack actually, we'll put him on attack and then that'll be our first change of the game. Our second change will probably be Patrick Vieira, Brady off of Jack Wilshire, and we'll see what happens. Corner, Rivaldo, Baccaro, Kelsey makes a great save, Baccaro on the ball again and cleared. What I'm going to do is go attacking, might as well go attacking now, nothing's going to really change the game, might as well just do it. We're going to take off Vieira and bring on Jack Wilshire. It's going to be our second change of the game as our midfield. Our midfielders get knackered very easily, Brady and Vieira are so easily knackered, it's annoying. Burkham finds the ball on this right hand side. Can he get past? He cannot. And Segura with a big chance. Vieira to Brady. That's poor. Kelsey with a goal kick. We've had a little more shots on target now, which is great. Segura to Jack Wilshire. Good ball to Dennis Burkham. They're lucky, really. Freddie. Come on, Lumberg. Find the ball. Find the ball to Burkham. He's got options in the middle. He tries to get it to Bastin, but I don't know why. Oh, big mistake. Mistake. And Burkham cannot capitalise. That's frustrating because that was a big chance. And now we're in the 82nd minute. 83rd. What are we going to do? What are we going to do here? I think we bring on Martin Keown for Frank McClintock, and that's going to be our final change of the game. We have to hold on to this. Oh, no! Ajax have taken the lead! No! Ajax have taken the lead against Ghent. They are now top of the group. We are going to go in the Europa League, I think, it seems, because we didn't come and go for the game here. Schuster with the shot. Barcelona had 31 shots in this game. We had six. We were absolutely battered. 60% possession for Barca. We had 40. We have only six shots. We were absolutely smashed. FC Barcelona 2, Arsenal 0. I'm going to go aggressive and say I'm far from pleased. We are now out of the Champions League. We now go into Europa League. Laszlo Kubala had a phenomenal game. Carlos Puyol actually as well was fantastic. Ajax won 1-0 away from home against Ghent, which means we drop off into the Europa League after a disappointing performance away from home against Barcelona. We should have won that game against Ghent in the last game. If we had won that, we would have had 11, um, um, would have had 11 points. And even though, I don't think if we, we would have even got any further actually if we got... Um, a win there. But anyway, that was a very quick, short episode of Tracking Back. If you did enjoy, leave a like, and if you did, tell me why in the comments down below. The next game we're going to do is the first game after the January transfer window. We're going to go against Newcastle, who I know have a phenomenal side. Alan Shearer is still the captain of that side. We have to be careful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and if you did, tell me in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Tracking Back on Foot Manager 2016.